Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're talking about GarageBand running on the iPad. In this episode, we're going to talk about sharing the songs that you've created. Now, once you've put all of your songs together, you want to share it with the world at large, all of your friends, all of your family, everyone out there that needs to hear what you've been creating on your iPad. And there is a way to do that. To get started sharing, you'll tap on My Songs button in the top left, and it'll bring up a list of the songs you've been working on. But instead of tapping it to open, underneath you'll click on the Share button in the lower left. Now when you tap on this, it'll give you the option to send to iTunes either as an AAC file, which is an audio file, or as a GarageBand file, which is the actual project file. Tap on the option you want to save. Then the next time you plug your iPad into your computer and fire up iTunes, you can actually retrieve your songs from there. So inside the iTunes application on your computer, you'll click on the iPad in the left-hand iTunes bar. Then in the right-hand pane, choose the Apps tab, and then scroll down to the bottom. Click on GarageBand in the left-hand column. All the items you've chosen to share will appear on the right-hand pane then. Click on the items you want to save to your computer, and then click the Save To button below. Choose the Save location, and then click Save, and then the files will be pulled over from the iPad. Now, if you've chosen to share your GarageBand project over to the Mac, unfortunately, you can't open it on your Mac just yet. When you try to, it'll say that you need a newer version of this. Now, almost certainly, this will change down the road as a new version of GarageBand is uh, released, or when the current version is updated to accept these files. But for the time being, you can't do that. Now, what you can do is you can share songs from iPad to iPad. So if you have a project that you had done on one iPad and want to move it to another iPad, or you want to send this project over to a friend for them to continue to work on, or vice versa, you can do that. So you take the GarageBand file, upload it to your computer, then take that file over to someone else's computer. They would open up their copy of iTunes and then add that GarageBand file into their Apps tab. Then when they open up their iPad, they can actually move it over to their iPad and then work on it from there. Now when you're sharing songs from your iPad, you have another way of sharing them as well, and that's by clicking on the Share icon and choosing Email. Now when you do that, it'll open up an email message right within GarageBand. Now when the email message opens up, it'll have a lot of the text already filled out telling you what's going on here. But if you want to customize it with a personalized message, you can do that here too. So then enter the email address you want to send this song to, and then click Send. And provided you have internet coverage, it'll actually send it at that point. Well, that's it on sharing your songs on GarageBand for the iPad. Don't forget to check out the other parts in this series where we show you how to use the instruments inside GarageBand and how to create a project of your very own. You can see the show notes for this and the other parts of the series as well at Butterscotch.com.